All right, D then, just a quick little vloggy thing here. I decided about a week ago I was going to try my hand at making, I believe it's pronounced choju. Basically, kind of a Chinese rice wine beer ish kind of thing about bobber. You're going to have to excuse the uh, shitty audio and echoey quality here because I'm kind of in just, uh, well, basically my front room. And, uh, there's not exactly a whole lot of soundproofing, so I'm probably getting very strange audio. But anyway, uh, about a week ago, or literally last Friday, this was a bowl of rice with a boatload of this in it. These are little Chinese yeast balls, and it's actually a mix of yeast, mold, and bacterial strains. And these are imported from Hong Kong. You get these at your local Asian market. I got this at H Mart. Awesome store. Not sponsored. And basically, what you do is you boil up rice like you're going to cook it normally. And you take... Well, what I did was I took one of those balls, just mash it up. I don't know why I just pointed it off camera because you couldn't see that. Whoops. Anyway, uh, you take one of those balls, mash it up, and uh, turn it into a powder. And what I did with another, with the other one was I mixed that one with water. So I have a dry ball and a wet ball plus about two tablespoons of sugar and two cups of rice, which puffed up to about four cups. And you just let it sit and blah, 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 for uh, about a week. Uh, you, apparently you can do this for as little as four days up to a month. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically this, is, this has been uh, sitting for about a week. You can kind of see there's a little bit of like pooling going on the side here. It smells like straight up sake, and like the other night, you could about walk into the room and just get drunk because uh, uh, of how much uh, boozy smell was wafting off here. Uh, what well, you know it's done basically when it starts smelling sweet instead of sour. And it's been something like, like sweet sake for a couple of days now. Uh, the other day it was actually bubbling pretty good, so I don't know if it's going to have any kind of resonance, probably not. But uh, yeah. Uh, we had a nice big cold, like stupidly cold night. It actually snowed overnight. So I'm pretty sure fermentation is done. That, and I'm getting kind of antsy, and I kind of don't want to let it uh, sit there for too much longer. But like I said, you can apparently let this sit for up to about 28 days, a month or so, you know. And it should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a cut to uh, the actual getting this into that with this steamer. And... Uh, Get back to you then. All right, quick update. About halfway through here, I managed to get the rice out of the bowl and squeeze it into these nice little kind of doughy ball-looking things here. I don't think I can get anything else out of there. By the way, it takes a not unsubstantial amount of force to get that liquid out of that rice. Uh, the actual cloth that I was using is actually a handkerchief. It's fine enough weave to kind of simulate cheesecloth, but it's actually a little finer than that. This is what I got. Looks like rice milk. A little sour. And I'm going to filter that through this guy. Nice little box of junk. And hopefully into here, and I'll measure it voila. And let you know exactly how much I get out of it. Alright, see how that happens. Alright, so a slight change of plans later. I had to use another one of those handkerchiefs because as it turns out the coffee filter is just too fine a weave and basically nothing was getting through except the occasional drip. I suppose if you really wanted this to be super duper clear and instead of milky, you could probably go ahead and be a little more patient than I was and just go ahead and do the whole coffee filter thing and just let it take its time. Me personally, I just want to get this done. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and measure this out in a measuring cup and I'm stick it in that bad boy. And then I'm going to get to the more interesting part, what does it taste like, and am I going to die from drinking it? Because this is basically just a big bunch of Chinese mold and alcohol, I can tell, because it smells like rice and paint thinner. So, when I say paint thinner, I mean that in a good way, like the sake kind of way, not the, uh, you know, actually, you know, drink it, go blind and die. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, yeah. Get back to you after that. And here we have our finished product. It is frankly impossible to see the actual measurement on this because, well, it's white on white on white. So 
I can tell you that's just under 32 ounces. So about a quart, if we flip it around to the metric side. It's not quite a liter. I want to say about maybe 800 mil. Maybe. Right about, right about. Yeah, full liter is about here. If I can actually get my camera in the right spot. So, let's see about this basically double the amount of rice I put into it. The amount of rice I put in was about two cups uncooked, which puffed up to about four cups cooked. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, made quite a bit more than I was thinking it was going to. Not quite as much as I wanted. I wanted the whole deal. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how to make that happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, then this number is kind of show a little bit if I get the angle right. Oh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try a shot of this. Wish me luck and hope I don't die because this could be interesting. All right, here we go. It's about a two ounce shot glass. And I guess you see my nice little shadow in the hand here. Can't quite get hand puppets out of it, but anyway, yeah. I guess I'm stalling a little bit because I know this is basically, uh, well, basically rotten rice juice. So, <laughs> thing, and I suppose beer is basically rotten hops and malt juice. That way. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've ever actually made alcohol, so I'm a little, a little nervous. So, like I said, here's hoping I don't go blind and die. What was up? Oh wow. That is very interesting. Obviously loose and watery. Um tart, very tart. Let's try another one a little more on that. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's definitely some hoosh. That's got, uh, hey, it's got a little bit of bite to it. Uh, predominantly flavor is very ricey, very tart. Uh, not as sweet as I would have thought it would have been because I did throw like two tablespoons of sugar into the mix uh, before I started. There's kind of a, kind of an odd mouthfeel. Kind of, um, coats your tongue with, I don't know what. Yeah, I can definitely tell that there's major alcohol going on in this cigar. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the exact gravity is because I really don't have anybody to actually measure that. But, um, yeah, just from that, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like a tart milk-ish kind of flavor consistency. Hmm. Well, I got a lot of it left. In both cases, I don't know if I actually want to finish this. Because it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, well, anyway, whew, damn. Uh, this has been pre this has proven to be quite an interesting little experiment. Uh, if I do this again, I will probably end up going ahead and uh, documenting the entire process instead of just the end. Uh, as in, like, possibly on Instagram, because seriously, waiting for this to ferment is like watching paint dry. Only less interesting. Other than that, yeah, I can't really think of a whole lot else other than uh, check out my other videos, which are all cigar-related, instead of um, just me making backyard hooch. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I, I had this laundry list of shit I actually wanted to say at the end of it, so <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, definitely uh, check out my other videos. Uh, hit like, favorite, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to hit favorite, but definitely like, subscribe. Hit the little bell on the end because I guarantee you every time I post a video, it's kind of an event because I post so rarely. Uh, beyond that, leave a comment in the comments below because apparently that's how YouTube actually promotes videos now. is the amount of traffic you get and not the amount of subscribers or views or whatever. So definitely, yeah, uh, leave a comment. Tell me if I should uh, do more stuff like this, more cooking videos, more cigar videos, more video game videos. Maybe if I should do a gun video or something like that. I do have a Molson, so, you know, whatever. Basically, I just need something, some kind of suggestion to get more content out and hopefully get better content. Uh, aside from me, just, uh... Wow. That kind of grows on you after a bit. 
But yeah, definitely give me some suggestions on, you know, should I do more of this? Should I do more cigars? Should I do more video games? Should I just, you know, shut up and kill myself? <laughs> I'm probably going to get more than my fair share of that. Beyond that, that's pretty much all I got. So, I did manage to get something to review for my cigar vlog. You can look forward to a uh, couple of craptastic videos from that. Beyond that, I'm going to get that in the fridge, because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be far better cold. And I'm kind of squatting on awkward positions. My ankles are starting to lose feeling. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. And I will see you all next time. I'm not too overexposed. <laughs>